Hi everyone. In this video, we will address a small issue that sometimes what happens in MS Teams is whenever we schedule a quiz, which usually happens with the scheduled quizzes, uh, that the schedule is the scheduled quiz is not appearing to the students on the on the right time. So by that time, when the students are saying that where is the quiz link, then now how do I find that respected quiz link and then share it to the students via email or via WhatsApp or something like that so that the students will not miss out the quizzes. Why are we waiting? Let's get started then. So here I am with my uh, laptop where Microsoft Teams is open here. Now you can see that I am right now in one channel called MA1305. So you can see that there was an issue happened recently was that I had scheduled a quiz in my assignment. If you see that I had scheduled a quiz at 5 p.m. But what happened was I had actually graded as well today. I had scheduled this quiz that is W2 S1 L1 quiz on integration. But, and I also assigned this quiz to be posted if I look into the it's edit assignment. I also have assigned this to be posted in week 2 channel. But if I go to week 2 channel, now you can see that nowhere this quiz link is being posted here, right? So that's a mistake, that's a problem. I don't know, I think that may be a bug in the Microsoft team. Now, immediately what I did, I found this link from the uh, Microsoft forms and then posted it here for the students to give the answer. Now, how do I get this link? That's what we are going to do today. So when you have this, when you go to this assignment over here, schedule whatever you have quizzed, scheduled over there, you can see that right now I have, it's my graded, you must be having it in assigned over here. Just click on the quiz, whatever the quiz you wanted to take the link for. If you click on the quiz, if it is still assigned, then it will show you this edit mode. Otherwise, you can click on this edit assignment over here. Click on the edit assignment. And you will be back to this place, right? Wherever you have scheduled the quiz. This is where you have done it. Now, what you can do here is, this is the quiz which I have attached for this assignment. Now, let's go ahead and click on this three dots over this and click on open in, uh, sorry, not click on open in Teams. So, this click on open in Teams will just open the form here. So, how do I find it? Let me go to my forms website. If you see this, let me pull up one browser window here. Let me go to forms.office.com. You can see that whenever you create a new quiz, it creates two copies of it. In fact, one copy which you have made it under your personal account, the other copy which has been shared to the students is in the group forms. You can, I will show you. If you look at this, this is the quiz uh, which has been generated for the, by me using the teams itself. But what happened here, this is zero responses, which means that this is not the right quiz link which I wanted. What I wanted here is you have to go to these group forms. In the group forms, if you see where you are lying in, so I have the line in the group called MA1305. So you can go to that form here. You can click on these recent group forms. Then you can go down and see and search for your group wherever is required. Right now, I am searching for my group. Where is the group? MA1305. Am I not able to find it? Why am I not able to find it? Okay. Search for name title. Yeah. Where is the MA1305? Oh, yeah, it's here. I'm sorry. I think it's what June now. So this is over here, MA1305. Click on that. Therefore, it will show you all the quiz forms, whatever you have noted here. You can see that now the, the same name, whichever I have shown outside, in the same name it is there, but the, here you can see that this 33 responses. Which means actually this was the required quiz which I have to share it to them. You might not see the responses initially, but I want to show you that you have to come under group forms and under your team, you select your quiz. Now, if you click on the quiz, whatever you have given to the students, you click on that. And here, if you click on the share option, then you get this link. You don't have to do anything else. You don't have to do any setup. Every setup will have been done by the Microsoft Teams automatically. You just have to copy this link and then share it to the students. I think uh, that's all about today. Uh, this, I hope this uh, video helped you a lot. If, you, if it, the video is helping you, 
and please uh, don't forget to subscribe and comment and also press the bell icon for getting any new notifications thanks a lot for watching i'll see you in the next video